Hi guys, we're gonna go ahead and get started and just start by going in child pose in balasana, if that's uncomfortable, any other poses, you're welcome to do that pose. While you hold that pose, I'm going to read to you a quote. There are many spiritual avenues that we can seek, turn to, feel, connect with. One of them, for example, is Buddha. It is believed that Buddha's last words believe to have been you must each be a lamp unto yourselves absorb this energizing principle shine your own light of your mind and heart You must each be a lamp unto yourselves. straight in front and lift the arms up and exhale reach forward with the lower back release gently walk your hands a little bit towards between both legs keeping the legs one leg bent one leg straight towards that knee now. And then twisting towards the straight leg. And then other side. Inhale, lengthen. You're doing wonderful. Good. Exhale, reach forward, guys. Oh. And then gently walk your hand, just kind of in between both legs. You got it. And just drape your head down. And then walk a little bit, a little twist towards that knee, just starting to open up the body. Settle down from the day. And then twisting towards the straight leg. Go ahead and cross both legs. Lift the arms up. Inhale. And then exhale. Reach to the side. Reach both arms up. Inhale. And exhale, other side. Do a few more of these in between, making sure to lift both arms up. So we're creating length, guys. 
So normally I just alternate one hand down, one hand up, but we're changing it and reaching both hands up in between. Spread the fingers out for the opening in the waist and ribs. Good. Make the legs straight. Lift the arms up, inhale. Exhale, reach forward. Point your toes very simply. Good, you got it, and flex. And just two more like that at your own pace. Feeling the difference when you flex, back of the legs open. Take your time. Good, coming up, take your legs out. And just lift the arms up. And reach to one side, just like we did before. So one hand is down behind that leg, other arm reaches up. Reach both arms up, inhale. Good, exhale, other hand down behind that leg, and just reach side. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, go a little further now. Curving the body. Inhale, spread out the fingers. Exhale, just a little bit further. Stay right here. Point all your toes and flex. Do that two more times at your own pace. strap is up to you. We're going to stay in this place. Maybe your legs come closer. Oh, so before class, we mentioned we're going to work a lot today on the hips, the back, and the hamstrings. Shake out your head, your shoulders. hamstrings here. You want to make sure that as we round forward, guys, you're doing great. That this opposite hip doesn't start to tighten, especially in the lower back. So take time to drop the shoulders. Take your legs a little bit more angled together more, maybe. Curve more and make your, um, your distance shorter. So you curve more and be a little heavier in this opposite hip. Start to breathe, feeling the back vertebrae open, back ribs open. guys so stay there if you like you're doing wonderful or we're gonna reach towards that leg and just drop the hand so you're not pulling with a strap or so so you're not tightening the neck and just pretend your favorite pillow is here and we're just trying to rest your head down on the pillow shake out your head your shoulders the sun setting. Imagine a willow tree drooping down. Go ahead and come up. Let's go to the other side. Extend. Nice. And then just point and flex. Wonderful. Oh, that flexing 
Feels good in the hamstrings. Two more pointing and flexing. strap or towel and then just like the other side simply be careful of trying to reach for that foot where this hip rotates in or that lifts up so go ahead and plant that hip down the opposite side take a shorter distance with your torso so you can curve your spine be a little heavier in both hips Enjoy the space opening as you curve the back body. And then you can let go of that towel if you like and just focus on melting so your shoulders can drop and you're not holding anything and wincing in this area. So just shake out the shoulders, shake out the head. And I catch myself going forward. So you gotta make sure you keep that rounding and that heaviness in the opposite sit bone. Curve more instead of going forward more. So just rounding. the sails of a sailboat blow into the sails into the back ribs breathe into the new spaces of the sails between each of the back vertebrae and the spine And then 
sometimes my knee feels funny. So you can add a towel, guys, under your knee. You can add a pillow under your hip. story of my life when I relax one area somewhere else in my body or in my mind or my heart tenses up so if you're like that as you feel your hips soften in this pose notice if you tighten up in your neck or you scrunch your face or your eyes So as you exhale, imagine a really comfortable, soft, heavy blanket laid across the whole body, over the shoulders, back of the neck, and the hips. And then just really long inhale, guys. And then exhale, that blanket just gets heavier on top of you. So soft, so relaxing. you can do here so in your pigeon let me face the front so you can see what I'm doing okay yeah so you have one leg bent in the front and the other leg behind you if you want you can just stay up with your upper body or come further down now if you're able to come down and need support put a pillow here or something variations you can extend both arms in front of you all the way down You can also do a thread the needle. So this is a shoulder stretch where you have both arms in front of you. One arm palm up goes under threads. And then you have your shoulder stretch along with that hip stretch. And just do the side that's comfortable for you. You can go to the opposite side if that's comfortable. And then just take really huge belly breaths. How you doing? You don't have to do the shoulder stretch. Please come back so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm here and then I'm just taking one hand up, palm under, thread under, reach the other arm forward, turn my head side. Practice the Ujjayi breath. So Ujjayi breath is where you just imagine you're um, kind of fogging a mirror when you exhale. It is a kind of like an ocean sound when you exhale. So you inhale, and then as you exhale, you just go. And that exhale sound helps to distract the mind. Visualize also a lotus flower floating on a still reflective pond. Imagine light radiating from the leaves.
Notice the separation between each of the leaves and the petals of the flower. Imagine you are the center of the flower. Let's carefully come up and then release the legs, come forward. I know it's a lot. Lift the arms up, inhale, exhale, reach forward. Oh. And coming up, take the other leg bent. Reach the arms up. How you doing? Good? Good. And then exhale, reach forward. And then take that leg to the side. So we've just switched sides, guys. Everyone doing okay? Good. And then we reach the arms up. Inhale. And exhale toward that side. Getting that side body opening. Janu Sursana. This is where if you want, take that arm that's closest to that knee, press that opposite hip crease down, press that inner thigh knee down, rearrange your leg if it's more comfortable. Lean a little forward if you need to. Continue stretching the opposite way with the torso, drop both shoulders. flower again and the symbolism of the lotus flower most people know is that it rises from the mud and floats and grows in kind of murky ponds but stays beautiful next think about um just weeds So I just moved into a new house and our backyard is just all dirt. And now it's all weeds and now they're all flowers. So how you view something is up to you. How 
how you view yourself is up to you. Weeds become flowers. Each inhale, feel the petals of your flower glowing, stretching out. Carefully coming up. So we've held those stretches for a while. Let's go ahead and move, okay? Go ahead, take your legs forward. Lift the arms up. Hopefully you're feeling good. Good. Inhale and exhale. Coming up, let's go into a diamond. Reach the arms up. Inhale. Exhale, Baddha Konasana. Reaching the arms up, and then just come to one side, exhale, Baddha Konasana. I said Baddha, Ardha Baddha Konasana. <laughs> and then reach the arms up, one arm up, other arm to the sky. And then exhale, windmill down, one arm at a time. I really love this one, nice. Inhale, windmill, this hand lands behind you. The other arm reaches up through the clouds. And exhale. This just feels really good in the back with the breath. And the movement, one more guys. Really reach up. And exhale. Wonderful, that feels really good. Reach up, inhale, and then other side, Ardha Baddha Konasana. And then we add those windmills. Each time we move, giving you a chance to feel longer and more open between the joints. Exhale, drop the head, drop the shoulders too. Inhale, spread out the fingers, reach just a little bit higher to feel pull out of the side body and lower back, and exhale. Oh. One more, make that inhale just a little bit fuller and longer. And then exhale, where is that comfortable, heavy blanket? Place it on the back, shoulders, the head. Good, taking the legs forward again. Lift the arms up, inhale, exhale. on the hamstrings and the hips. Um, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna stick with my, um, my towel, I think, because most people will have a towel. If you have a strap, that's cool too. This is heron pose. So we start, we start with our knees bent. Our knees are bent, our feet are flat. We take whatever leg you like out and extend that leg. This can stay on the ground if you like. Try to roll the shoulders back, sit comfortably. Good, inhale, as you exhale, lift up a little bit and push the heel away. So I'm like a micro millimeter off the floor. Now as you inhale, feel a string pulling up your vertebrae and neck. And as you exhale, drop the shoulders and notice how that has a little pull on that leg. So inhale, lengthen the head, neck, and spine. Exhale, relax the shoulders and feel a little pull on that leg. 
Inhale, lengthen the vertebrae. Exhale, shoulders drop. A little lift on that leg. Good. So from here, we have one leg a little bit forward, one leg bent. Just drop that knee to the side and then take that leg to the side. Good. Go ahead, reach towards that side, holding onto that strap or towel. And then exhale, circle the arm. Inhale, reach up. Two more like that. Exhale. Inhale, one more at your own pace. reach to the side. Good. You can stay here with the shoulders calm. Or next option, only if you feel comfortable with this. Take that leg forward. Opposite hand grabs that strap or towel and it goes across, taking the other arm out to the floor, to the couch, whatever you have at home. And this adds stretch here. You can release that strap or towel, bend that leg over and add a twist. Good. Go ahead, release both legs forward. We're doing okay. Lift the arms up, inhale. Exhale, Janu Sursana. Coming up, we're going into our heron stretch. So we bend the legs, whatever leg you didn't do, strap around that foot, straight legs. That leg is straight, one leg bent. How we doing? Good. Okay, so let's go a little closer. This side, I think I'm going to switch to a strap. I feel like it's just tighter for me. So if you need to get a longer towel, you want to make sure you have a comfortable posture. Inhale, feel the spine, neck, lengthen with this imaginary string. As you exhale, a little pull, pushing the heel away. You don't even have to lift the foot if you don't want. Inhale, feel your spine and neck grow. Exhale, drop the shoulders and bend the elbows just a little bit. Inhale, lengthen the vertebrae. Exhale, shoulders go broad and down, elbows bend a little bit. One more, inhale and exhale. Be careful those shoulders don't go up. Okay, and then we go into taking this bent knee to the side. Just let it drop down, guys. Uh-huh, and then take that leg side. Reach that arm towards that leg, and we circle. Exhale. Inhale, reach up. Good, two more, guys. <sighs> Come to the side. A little extra breath into the side ribs there. Stay there, or you have the option. I'm going to switch back to the towel. You have the option to just take that leg opposite hand now and take it across. I call this playing the guitar. <laughs> so kind of give you a diagonal leg here, across a little twist, hand down, or even extend. Don't feel like you have to show off. This is yin energy. Just get that stretch for yourself. If not for you, go back to the other option with the leg to the side. 
Next, you can release that, guys, and bend the knee over. Oh my gosh. Yep, right there. <laughs> Hip. Inhale, lengthen vertebrae, and add 
exhale, drape. Oh. Think of a heavy, like those velvet drapes that are just heavy and drape on the ground. Drop your head, your shoulders. Be heavy. Oh. Inhale, be long and open. <laughs> and exhale, twist. One more time through, taking time to really be within each lengthening and then be really heavy in each mounting. Extend that arm, lengthen the vertebrae diagonal, 
exhale, let the ribs come through the chest. Oh. Shoulders are down. Point the nose down, maybe. into gardening now. I'm trying to get into gardening. Think about uh, just flowers and weeds as they grow, guys. And the roots. The roots remember. So whatever you are feeling, like a weed or a flower, petals fall off, flowers change, but the roots don't forget and there was always regrowth. So each inhale, feel a little bit wider, a little more growing. Go ahead, release. Oh. And then take your legs in, bend your knees, make a circle. Let it go. And circle the other 
away. Other leg up. And then that upside down stepping or lunge is really going to open up the inner hip area. And then exhale, bend. Inhale, extend. Exhale, maybe that knee goes a little bit to the side of the body. Shoulders wide. shoulders a little broader. If using this strap is uncomfortable, you can pull the knee in regular with your arms. Take some extra deep breaths in the belly. And then strap on the arch of the foot, take the leg to the same side. goodness. <laughs> Just cross one leg over the other. It doesn't matter. Let your hands go anywhere in your legs. Relax the shoulders. Maybe your hands are wider across so they're on their feet or the ankles. Hurt on the knees. And then wrap the legs the other way around. stretch. Circle the ankles and wrists. And circle the other way around. And point your toes and flex. And point. And flex. Pull the knees in. A little rock side to side. Start to alternate a little bow and arrow with the legs. Oh, it feels 
so amazing. Okay, let's go ahead and come up. And we're just gonna end with arms wrapped around in your eagle arms. And just kind of wherever you are, we're just gonna angle to one side. You wanna think about just kind of going up and over. Kind of like turning a steering wheel, drop your shoulders. Let your chin go down. And then keep the arms exactly how they're crossed and just come up and around the other way. Shoulders a little heavier. Chin a little more relaxed and longer. And then come center and switch the arms the other way. So whatever way you didn't do them, good. And then we come up and around. Oh my gosh. <laughs> As you exhale, jaw, facial muscles go longer. And then we come up and over the other way, keeping the elbows, yeah, you got it. center. Inhale, lift the arms up and exhale, hands in prayer. Inhale, rise the hands in prayer towards the sky. Exhale, lower to your heart. And just one more. Inhale, rising. Exhale, lowering. Thank you, namaste.